A reaction series is given in this question. That is an amorphous solid A which has a crown shaped structure burns in air to produce a gas B which turns the lime water milky and this B is also produced by a roasting of sulfide ores. This B then undergo oxidation in presence of vanadium pentoxide to produce another product C. And to carry out this oxidation, we need low temperature and high pressure. This C is then adsorbed in H2SO4 to get another product D. D is then diluted to give a very important compound E. E is largely responsible for the manufacture of variety compounds in industry. E is concentrated form when combined with copper metal and they are producing another compound F. We need to identify the compounds mentioned here that is from A to F. Here A will be sulfur and this is a polyatomic molecule with a formula S8 and this A is producing B by burning in air so b will be sulfur dioxide so2 this b undergoes oxidation in presence of vanadium pentoxide to produce c means c is sulfur trioxide so3 and this c is absorbed by sulfuric acid to produce d means d is oleum or h2s2o7 and this d is producing e by dilution so E is sulfuric acid and this E is producing F when combined with the copper metal. So F is copper sulfate. In the second question, we need to provide the balanced chemical equation for the conversion of E to F. Here E is sulfuric acid. So they react with copper that is F to produce copper sulfate, sulfur dioxide and water. This is the balanced equation for the given reaction. And in C, we need to give two important functions of E in chemical industry. The uses of sulfuric acid can be defined as they can be used as dehydrating agent, oxidizing agent, and they can also be used as electrolyte and catalyst in many reactions. Now let's come to the or question. Here we need to provide the reasons for given observations. The first one is halogens are strong oxidizing agents. The substance which undergo reduction are known as oxidizing agents. So reduction is the process by which a substance is accepting electrons. So halogens are having seven electrons in their valence shell. So by accepting one electron, they will get octet configuration. That means they will be highly stable. In order to get stability, they will easily accept this one electron because of their high electronegativity. It means they are good oxidizing agents. The second one is noble gases have very low boiling points. Boiling point is the temperature at which a liquid is converting into vapor phase. Noble gases have very low boiling point means the intermolecular interaction between these molecules are weak. The type of intermolecular interaction present in noble gases is van der Waals forces or London forces. But the London forces are weak in noble gases means they have low boiling points. The last one is oxygen and chlorine have nearly same electronegativity yet oxygen forms hydrogen bond while chlorine doesn't. This is due to the smaller size of oxygen as compared to chlorine and due to the high electron density on oxygen than chlorine. Due to these two reasons, oxygen and chlorine have nearly same electronegativity but oxygen forms hydrogen bond while chlorine doesn't. Hydrogen bond is formed between hydrogen atom and highly electronegative atom. Oxygen is highly electronegative compared to chlorine means they can produce the hydrogen bond.